good morning students i hope that you had gone through all the previous lecture videos and in this video lecture we are going to discuss some more further topics related to pre existing knowledge and how a good science teaching lesson plan can be made okay so here are here we are as you can see that uh, in previous lecture video we had already discussed that for making a good strategy we should first determined our learning objectives and we had already decide and learned that objectives can be two type either teachers objectives or the learners objectives and the learning objectives so as a teacher as a teacher when you are enter in your classroom or you had already developed some predetermined objectives that this and this topic i am going to teach and this and this declaration i am going to tell to the students this is this activity we will perform but the learning objectives are quite different from them and there is a very famous proverb there is a very famous quote of a very educationist that gs gardner he said that before entering in the classroom you cannot predetermine your objective because your objectives are based on the pre existing knowledge of the students so here we are going to discuss the meaning of pre existing knowledge that what is its significance so as you can see here that the by pre existing knowledge we mean that knowledge and experience which you consider essential for students to possess for learning the lesson being planned for example you are going to teach students ohms law in a middle school you are going to teach ohms law as a science teacher so before ohms law a student must understood the concept of current voltage and the circuit or conductor also so these are basic understanding which a student should have possess before understanding ohms law so as your as the teacher of science as a teacher of science it's your responsibility to understand that what are the essential knowledge or experience for a student to possess the for learning of lesson being planned so pre existing knowledge if in a simple manner we can say that pre existing knowledge is the knowledge or experience which is essential for any student to learn something or certain plan kisi bhi naye plan ko kisi bhi naye strategy ko ya kisi bhi naye gyan ko hasil karne ke liye jo pre existing knowledge avashyak hai jo zaruri hai that is the main point of interest in our today's discussion so those earlier experiences and concepts learned by the students which are crucial for comprehension of the lesson should be considered in previous knowledge for their better understanding paying attention to prevention and existing knowledge helps a teacher to identify misconceptions and native concepts of students and reconstruct their ideas that are scientifically accepted you may revisit the chapter for the same so basically when you are going to teach any type of subject in the science lecture when you will go then most of the time you will feel that there are some concepts are very native for the students the meaning of native concepts is the concepts which is are not matured the concepts which are not uh, completely correct the some part is right some part is wrong for example that in most of the classes in in primary essential classes in the science it is being told to the students that whatever is the uh, sovereign test will be the acids koi bhi cheez jo swad mein khatti hai wo acids hoga wo acid honge but in 10th standard or in 11th and 12th you cannot same uh, declare the same definition because it is not possible to taste the every acid aap har ek acid ko chakke nahi dekh sakte so that concept is little bit native that concept is native concept so as a teacher it's your responsibility to develop and reconstruct the correct concept to the student and hence the student can explore his knowledge and experience as well 
so here are there are two activities uh, we have with you you have to consider these activities that think about a learning situation such as an activity and develop a questionnaire compri comprising five to six question that can elicit pre existing knowledge to the learners and their curiosity relative to the following topics for example that is work power and energy and newton's laws of motion suppose you are going to teach these topics in a, in a classroom so what are the five to six questions which being asked by you which can uh, emerge in the into the students so that you can identify their pre existing knowledge so pre existing knowledge ko check karne ke liye कई सारे तरीके हैं आप जब क्लासरूम में जाते हैं तो स्टूडेंट्स से डिस्कस कर सकते हैं हम जब क्लासरूम में जाते हैं तो बच्चों के साथ एक डिस्कशन ऑर्गेनाइज कर सकते हैं कि बेटा आज हम ये पढ़ने ही पढ़ेंगे आप इसके बारे में क्या क्या जानते हैं ऐसे में बच्चा हर वो चीज बताता है जो उसको उस चीज के बारे में पता होता है कुछ बच्चे स्टूडेंट्स बताते हैं कुछ स्टूडेंट्स नहीं बताते हैं इसके अलावा एक तरीका है क्वेश्चन आयर सेशन आप एक क्वेश्चन आयर सेशन ऑर्गेनाइज करवा सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर गोइंग टू टीच दी वर्क पावर एंड एनर्जी इन अ क्लास so you can ask to the students that uh, from which power your uh, classroom fan is working so maybe student will said that sir it is electrical power okay from which power you can cook your food student can say that it is thermal power thermal energy we burn the chemical fuel and then get the energy so how much work you had done by consuming that energy and slowly slowly by asking such questions you can connect the topic with the pre existing knowledge of the student and then you can start the teaching your subject so these are the basic idea that i am giving to you and it is totally up to you that how much you can make your concept uh, make your lecture interesting by asking the pre existing knowledge based questions how interest you can uh, how much interest you can develop in your student towards your subject and that's totally up to you that how much creative you can so now that there is a second activity also that discuss how can pre existing knowledge of the learner and their curious questions can help a teacher in developing learning objectives of that topic on the basis of that activity developing learning objectives in the topic concepts so basically when we are going to teach in any classroom on any topic we try to check the pre existing knowledge of the students and while checking the pre existing knowledge students can give some right answers some wrong answers and maybe some silly one also so as a teacher it's your responsibility to solve the all the curiosity questions asked by the students for that you have to maintain the uh, your questionnaire in a in a hierarchical pattern for example if you your questionnaire for checking the pre existing knowledge are based on such question pattern that students answer cannot bring to the topic if the students topics are uh, students answers are not properly connected with your current topic it means you had made some wrong questionnaire so as a teacher it's our responsibility to make the questionnaire as much as easy and as much as uh, interesting so that student can take part in it and you can easily determine that what is the previous knowledge of any topic or uh, lecture student have so these are the some basic facts about pre existing knowledge in the next lecture video we will discuss the planning of icit resources for the same till then thank you learners